Today we're going to make a video about... <laughs> rabbit! Rabbits! How many rabbits do we have? One! One rabbit. Why do we have a rabbit? Because we want a video of him! <laughs> <laughs> so we keep one rabbit and we put his droppings in the garden because it is really awesome fertilizer. So today we're going to tell you um, just why we have a rabbit, how we feed it, and we how we keep it. Hello. And the rabbit will say hello. Rabbit. What's his name? Shadow. Shadow. What do we call him though? Uh, rabbit dab. Rabbit dab. And what do we feed him? Spinach. <laughs> we have kale, carrots. And spinach. Spinach and bro I mean uh, broccoli. Rad radish and sometimes bananas. And just broccoli. A, just a little bit of bananas. So we grow this in the garden because it makes it free food for him. Sometimes he gets a little bit of banana. That's a bit of a big piece. And he's very sweet. When it was freezing outside, we had him inside for about three days. Oops. I want to pet him. He loves to be pet. And so he got lots of pettings when he was inside and he has a little setup where he can kind of run around in the laundry room. So he lives out here and he's not covered right now because we just brought him out. But he has two cages, lots of room here. It's open through the bottom and he usually goes to the bathroom in the same place. And if you can see all the droppings here. So I can just come in and scoop this up and put it on the garden. This is great for the garden. You don't have to let it age or anything. You just throw it right on there. He likes that. So he has a glass bowl of water. Found this thing works a lot better than the dripper dropper. He was having a hard time. And I watched a video that said that it's better for them to actually drink out of a bowl. So this one's really cool because it's made of glass. And then also when it gets empty, he just tips it to the side and it kind of sits like this. I'll just demonstrate. Well, anyway, it sits on the side and then he can still get deep into it and it doesn't spill. So this is just something that you're supposed to use for a plant or something, but it doesn't have holes in the bottom. So I use it for his eating. And I'll show you what kind of food he's eating right now in just a second. This is the tarp that I cover him with so that if it rains, he does not get wet and it opens up bigger, like say it's going to storm, we cover him like all the way and I put bricks on it so that, you know, the storm doesn't lift it away. But we had more than one rabbit once, we had two, and then we ended up with many, many rabbits and some of them died and it was really hard on us. So now we just keep one. We've had him almost two years. It'll be two years in April. So I'll show you how I grow some stuff for him to eat. Let's walk right over to the garden. You want to show them the radishes and the carrots? Alright, so... Right over here. This were planted about a month ago. This is just radishes and carrots. I'm going to get my These are some of the radishes and carrots. And what's really cool about radishes, especially if you're just harvesting the greens for your rabbit. What's really neat is you can just, just like kale and everything else, you can just take a few here and there. And I'll show you one that I have down here that's really old, but it's still putting out green. So here, this, is, this is what was the radish. This is the root. and it just keeps putting on and these survive the frost no problem and then a little further down here I have some kale these aren't very old either they're pretty new but you can start harvesting from them right away and um, just don't take all of the leaves just take a few at a time and these survive the frost as well this is one I've had out here for a whole season, it's probably pretty much done, but it's got a much stronger root. This one's been out here. And then I have some cilantro, which the carrot, the carrot, the rabbit also likes cilantro. 
there's some carrots mixed in with the cilantro there. And then I have a bunch of carrots right here. All next to the strawberry patch are carrots. These are purple carrots. So, those are yummy. And then even over there I have another radish. It's also very, been here for a while. Survived the frost. And puts out lots of leaves so I can just come grab, they don't need too much, I just give him maybe 10 leaves in a day. And then I let these go to seed. And radish pods are super delicious. So good. Um, I don't know if these will do much because it's about to be winter, but anyway, I leave, let them go to flower anyway for the bees and butterflies. Here's an old carrot. There's some more radishes here. Radishes grow so easily you can just throw them down anywhere. Let's see if we can catch his teeth. His teeth are so cute. Oh, he wants some. I'm being mean. Here you go. Here you go. Here. Don't put your finger right now because he's eating. He might bite your finger. But he loves his radishes. Baby rabbit. Baby rabbit. It's a baby rabbit. He's not a baby. He's almost two. He's almost two? Mm -hmm. No, we don't need... Baby rabbit. Baby rabbit. It's a baby rabbit. He's not a baby, he's almost two. He's almost two? Mm -hmm. No, we don't even know if he's a boy or a girl, but he's got this big neck thing, if you can see it right here. So, think it might be a girl? Yeah. Storing that fat. Boy, she loves loving. She loves you to pet her ears. She's even stopping eating to get her lovin's. Yeah, she likes when you touch her face. So that's our rabbit. And now Oh. <laughs> <You're so cute. laughs> Alright, so this is the rabbit pellets that we're feeding them now. This is just some from the feed store. It's supposed to be for, you know, growing rabbits to eat, but um, I really don't have any desire to eat rabbit. Um, Sometimes I think it would be nice in case of emergency, but I'm just really not into it for food. So here's what's in here. Crude protein, crude fat, crude fiber, calcium, phosphorus, salt, vitamin A, um, forage products, processed grain byproducts, plant protein products, grain products, limestone, molasses, um, yeah, I sometimes feed him the kind from Brookshire's or Walmart, the grocery store kind, but this is, yeah, this is much more affordable. Um, but ideally, I'd be feeding him organic rabbit feed, but, you know, is that even something that's possible? You're being kind of noisy with your eating this morning. Is that good? Mm -hmm. 